and welcome back to another Adventure Time with the Texas Mom. I'm Sonia, the Texas Mom, and with me as always, I have my Texas Tornadoes, Carter and Logan. And today we are headed to Canyon Lake, Texas. We are going to Potter's Creek Park, and we are actually doing some camping this weekend. So my mom likes to take the boys whenever it's their birthday to um, go on a camping trip, and so that's where we are headed. Logan's birthday was in April. However, we were dealing with the quarantine from the COVID-19 so we rescheduled and here it is June 12th I believe is today and we are on our way finally Potter's Creek is about 45 minutes to an hour north of San Antonio on the north end of Canyon Lake they do not allow day passes it is camping only which is nice because it keeps it from getting too crowded it was a reasonable rate for our site which was $30 per night for up to 10 people if you have a boat or a jet ski, there's a boat ramp available for use. The sites equipped for RVs are water and electric only. There are no full hookups. Each site has a shaded picnic table along with a barbecue pit and a fire ring to have a campfire, as long as there is no burn ban in effect. There are bathrooms and showers available. The Texas mom checked them out herself and they were super clean. So two thumbs up here. Not all of the sites are waterfront, but we've been to this park before. So we knew the exact number of the site we wanted. So my mom booked this a while back. You must make reservations online ahead of time. We liked that our site had a direct path to the lake on one side and on the opposite side was a direct path to the bathrooms. So this was pretty sweet. It's the Texas mom here. We are just getting to our campsite and my best recommendation is if you are going camping with your children that you get your campsite set up first. So my kids are with their friends in the lake behind us on the edge. They have specific instructions not to go too far um, and we are getting our camp ready to go. So let's get this tent set up. The cardinal rule of tent camping is always remembering to zip the door because you don't want anything sneaking in. We had the tent to ourselves and just brought an air mattress and a blanket. At night, it actually got pretty chilly, so I wish I was better prepared with more blankets because it made for a pretty uncomfortable evening. If you have your own shade providing mechanism, I would definitely bring it. It was nice to have an extra shady spot during the day as the sun was shifting around. The shaded picnic table provided by the park was a total perk. It was utilized through the entire time of our stay. If you intend on having a campfire, you must bring your own firewood. This is something you need to think about ahead of time and definitely remember to bring with you. Otherwise, it could cost you a trip to the store. I packed a football for the kids to toss around when they wanted to take a break from swimming. Also, you'll notice we brought our dog. This place is pet friendly. However, she was not a fan of the heat or the different environment. She was actually very agitated the whole time. So we think we will board her on future camping trips. To me, there are a few things more beautiful than a Texas sunset. I love watching the Texas sunset, but it's even better watching it at Canyon Lake. The kids were even able to swim until it got dark since the water temperature was absolutely perfect. The only wildlife were a few deer that we saw later in the evening one was a baby fawn with white spots. It was super cute. Huh, he went under. For foods, I try to bring simple things and cook stuff ahead of time. One of my favorite dishes is a breakfast casserole that I make. It's enough to feed everyone and is super delicious. I also bring things like sandwich meat, hot dogs, and stuff you can throw in a crock pot. I also love bacon. 
Since I'm the only one drinking coffee, I just make sure to grab a box of Starbucks Via Instant Coffee Packs and add it to some hot water. It's not the best, but it does the job. And always remember to wear sunscreen. That's right, sunscreen is a must. And don't forget, you need to reapply several times, especially being out on the lake all day. Of course, bringing anything to float on is a guaranteed good time in the lake. One of our Adventure Time crew members had this awesome, gigantic raft to lounge on in the water. After we got this bad boy blown up, we threw her in and had a great time. absolutely love to kayak. My mom purchased these about two years ago and they have been a great investment and enhance the fun we have on our adventures. It's a great arm workout. There's nothing quite as peaceful as taking a kayak out for a paddle. Everybody, this is kayaking. Always be sure to wear a life vest if you're kayaking at Canyon Lake. There are so many boaters and jet skiers flying by. I think it's a great indicator that there's another watercraft in the water. Also, better safe than sorry. I once had a bad experience taking a kayak up the Colorado River, so try to always put safety first. What's a camping trip without having s'mores by the campfire? The kids loved toasting their own marshmallows. I bought a box of graham crackers, a bag of puffy marshmallows, and two packs of fun size Hershey's chocolates. The kids enjoyed making their own desserts and eating them. And leave it to the Texas tornadoes to land a burnt marshmallow on our canopy to get discovered the next morning. Never a dull moment with these two. final day of camping I decided to finally give fishing a shot so we'll see how it goes I got some shrimp and then accidentally left them out and so they smelled horrifically bad today and I decided I cannot touch that with my hands so um, I have some bacon we'll see how it goes my childhood memories of fishing consist of me holding a fishing pole we made from a stick using corn as bait to catch some sun perch I'll basically pick random meat to go on the end and see what happens Clearly not out for a trophy catch, but still have fun doing it. What I liked about um, camping here is that I got to sleep in an RV because the beds are comfy. The favorite part about camping is that I get to swim in, swim in the lake. So we are just finishing our weekend at Potter's Creek Park in Canyon Lake, Texas, and we had an excellent time. It was definitely very hot during the day, but the lake was so refreshing. So we had a wonderful stay at Potter's Creek, and we look forward to having you on our next adventure. And don't forget, don't mess with Texas. Adventure time with the Texas mom! Like and subscribe!